it, was, it wasn't frustrating. Um, you wanted it to happen. We wanted to do our job. We didn't want to, to help the negotiators to be successful. We wanted, we wanted to go in and do what we'd always been trained and prepared to do. Um, so it's a bit frustrating when you get ready and you sit down, and you get ready and you sit down. But it was, it was, it was, it was normal. It was, it was just like an exercise because that was the sort of things we would practice. Stand by. Okay, it's not happening, guys. Go back. You sit down. Okay, stand by. And you go back and get ready again. And uh, complacency is your biggest enemy in those situations. You stop making sure your kit's in the right place. You stop knowing where everything is. Um, and then when it does come to the real thing, where's my weapon? Where's my magazine? The equipment that we carried um, for those assaults weighed over 45 pounds. We had body armor. We had weapons. We had gas masks. We had gas suits. Um, we had, a, uh, you like a little battleship. We had um, 90 rounds in, in, in 90 rounds in pouches on your left side, um, a 20 round magazine on a nine millimeter Browning pistol here, another 30 rounds on your weapon on your MP5 on the front, um, two spare magazines for your, um, for your nine millimeter Browning on the back of your waist, um, uh, flashbangs, um, which are like stun grenades with go flashbang, whistle and, and frighten people, uh, gas grenades, um, all, this, all this equipment and you're abseiling down the back of a building and you're going through doors and windows and climbing over obstacles so you need that serious amount of fitness and training to be able to do that. There's a famous American writer called Malcolm Gladwell who wrote a book called uh, Blink and he talks about why people make mistakes with weapons when they're under pressure and um, one of the um, one of the things he says is that if your heartbeat goes above 145 beats per minute, you can't make minor cognitive decisions. So you can't think clearly. The things that are going to send your heartbeat above 145 beats a minute are fear and lack of physical fitness. So your training has to be the sort of training that puts you on the edge of fear all the time. So fear becomes normal. You know how to control it. You know how to deal with it. You know how to work under that kind of pressure and your fitness has to be incredibly high as well because you have to work with all this equipment otherwise by the time you get to a situation where somebody may be or may not be a terrorist you can't make the decision in that small space of time where you could live or die because of that decision or somebody innocent could live or die because of it so you see why the standards and the training has to be so really set at such a high level in order to obtain those kind of results on days like May the 5th, 1980.